Wheel Alignment Procedure for 10 by 2 Vehicles using Josum Wheel Alignment Machine Objective By the end of this video, you will be able to understand Usage of Wheel Alignment Machine Wheel Run Out Checking Procedure Toe In Toe Out Check An Adjustment Process for Both Front Axles Out of Square Check An Adjustment Process for All Rear Axles Front Axle Parallelism Check an adjustment process. Components descriptions of Josum wheel alignment machine. Laptop with Josum home base for software. Wireless server communication device, one numbers. Self-centering frame gauge, two numbers. Reflecting target plates, four numbers. Wheel adapter, two numbers. Camera sensor, Two numbers. Turntable with low friction plates. Two numbers. Vehicle preparation and safety instructions before starting wheel alignment. Park vehicle on a plane surface. Turn off the ignition key. Apply parking brake. Check air pressure in tires. Pressure should be same in all wheels. Make sure that your wheel alignment equipment is calibrated. Ensure wireless server should be connected with the system. Let's understand how to check and adjust wheel alignment in 10 by 2 vehicle. Out of square checking and adjustment procedure of rear dead axle or rear third axle. Fit the self-centering frame gauge along with target plate on front side of the chassis as shown. Then fit at the rear side of chassis. Align self-centering frame gauge by leveler. Bubble should be incentered. Note, if bubble is not incentered, align the gauge by loosing knob and set it. Install wheel adapter to the rear third axle wheels at both RH side and LH side. Mount camera on the brackets as shown. Now come to the system. Click on the software to open it. Main window will appear in screen. Go to new order by clicking. Click on the wheel alignment option, that is, cam aligner. New window for vehicle model selection will be appeared. Select 10 by 2 axle configuration and click on next tab. Fill the vehicle details like job card number, mileage, VIN number, customer name and write the comment. And select the steering location left hand drive or right hand drive click on the save and start measure option select rear third axle first to check out of square measurement and click on two or camber roll tab after that set camera to the front target plate as shown in screen press ok button after green led appeared Then set the camera to rear side target plate and press OK button after green LED appeared. Same process to be followed for left side also. Note, always set the right hand side camera first if right hand drive vehicle. Set the left hand side camera first for left hand drive vehicle. After that, half turn wheel message will be shown in the next screen. Start vehicle and forward it for half wheel rotation. Pre-alignment reading shown after this process, that is, out of square value. Note, if the reading is showing in green color, go to the next axle for alignment checking. If reading shown in red color, 
means there is misalignment of the axle. Now we can see the rear third axle are misaligned. We need to adjust it from left side of the vehicle. First click on Save before adjustment option, then click on Adjust option. Loosen the torque rod clamping nuts of the rear dead axle from LH side. Rotate the torque rod to increase the distance of rear dead axle and simultaneously check the value on screen. It should be under the limit. After correction, tighten the torque rod clamping nut as per specified torque 140 to 180 Nm. Click on Save after adjustment option. Remove the camera and wheel adapter from both sides. Out of square checking and adjustment procedure of rear drive axle or rear second axle. Install wheel adapter to the rear drive axle wheels at both RH side and LH side. Mount camera on the wheel adapter. Now select the drive axle and click on Tow or Camber Roll option. Set camera to the front target plate at RH side and press OK button after green LED appeared. Then set the camera to rear target plate and press OK button. Same process to be followed for left side also. Half turn wheel message will be shown in the screen. Start vehicle and forward it for half wheel rotation. Now we can see the rear second axle are misaligned from LH side. We need to adjust it from left side of the vehicle. First click on Save before adjustment option. Then click on Adjust option. Loosen the U-bolt nuts of LH side first. Put the jack between the two tire as shown and increase the distance of rear drive axle. And simultaneously check the value on screen. It should be under the limit, means green zone. After correction, retighten the U bolts with specified torque as per applicable model. Click on Save after adjustment option to save the alignment data. Remove the camera and wheel adapter from both sides. Out of square checking and adjustment procedure of lift axle. Install wheel adapter to the lift axle wheels at both RH side and LH side. Mount camera on the wheel adapter. Now select the rear first axle and click on Tow or Camber Roll option. Set camera to the front target plate at RH side and press OK button. Then set the camera to rear target plate and press OK button. Same process to be followed for left side also. Now rotate both the side wheels together manually at 180 degree in clockwise direction. That is half wheel rotation. Now we can see the lift axle are misaligned. We need to adjust it from left side of the vehicle. First click on save before adjustment option. Then click on adjust option. Loosen the nut of pivot bolt from left hand side. Loosen the eccentric washer mounting bolt to unlock the washer from locking groove. Loosen the inner side bolt also. 
Insert ratchet tool into the square slot of outer side eccentric washer at LH side and rotate the eccentric washer clockwise. Then rotate inner side eccentric washer anti-clockwise direction. From this process, distance is increased between lift axle and drive axle. Check the value on screen. It should be under the limit, means green zone. After correction, fit the eccentric washer bolt in locking groove and tighten it with specified torque 20 to 30 Newton meters. Then tighten the trailing arm mounting pivot bolt with specified torque 1000 to 1250 Newton meters. Click on Save After Adjustment option. Remove the camera. and wheel adapter from both sides. Toe in checking and adjustment procedure for first front axle. Install wheel adapter to first front axle wheels first at both RH side and LH side. Mount camera on the wheel adapter. Now select the first front axle and click on Toe or Camber Roll option. Set camera to rear target plate first at RH side and press OK button. Then set the camera to front target plate and press OK button. Same process to be followed for left side also. Start vehicle and forward it for half wheel rotation. Now we can see the first front axle, toe in are misaligned. We need to adjust it first. First click on save before adjustment option. Then click on adjust option. Keep turntable below the first front axle tire at RH side and LH side. Now rotate the steering to straight position first until the reading comes in zero. Hold the steering at zero. Loosen the both tie dot clamps. Rotate the tie rod to set the toe in until the value comes in green color. When the value comes in within the limit, tighten the tie rod clamp nut with specified torque as per applicable model. Click on Save after adjustment option to save the alignment data. Toe in and checking and adjustment procedure for second front axle. Install wheel adapter to second front axle wheels first at both RH side and LH side. Mount camera on the wheel adapter. Now select the second front axle and click on Toe or Camber Roll option. Set camera to front target plate first at RH side and press OK button. Then set the camera to rear target plate and press OK button. Same process to be followed for left side also. Forward vehicle for half wheel rotation. Now we can see the second front axle, toe in are misaligned. We need to adjust it. First click on Save Before Adjustment option. Then click on Adjust option. After that, click on Relative option to show the all readings in a screen. 
Keep turntable below the second front axle tire at RH side and LH side. Now rotate the steering to straight position first. Hold the steering. Loosen the both tie rod clamps. Rotate the tie rod to set the toe in until the value comes in green color. When value comes in within the limit, tighten the tie rod clamp nut with specified torque as per applicable model. Click on Save after adjustment option to save the alignment data. Front axle parallelism checking and setting procedure for front twin axles. After adjustment of toe in for both front axles, we need to check axle parallelism. Keep both turntable below the front tire at RH side. Install wheel adapter to front first axle and front second front axle wheels at right hand side only. Mount camera on the both wheel adapter. Now select the second front axle and click on adjust twin steer option. Set first front axle camera to the front target plate. Then set second front axle camera to the rear target plate and press OK button. Now we can see the second front axle parallelism are misaligned. We need to adjust it. Hold the steering. Loosen the drag link clamp bolt of second front axle. Then rotate the nut to adjust it. Simultaneously, see the reading on screen and adjust drag link until the reading comes in zero or green zone. Tighten the clamp as per specified torque. 70 to 80 Newton meters. Click on save after adjustment option to save the alignment data. Now click on all value vehicle option to show all reading before and after adjustment readings. Click on next option to go next screen. Click on printer icon to take print of complete alignment report. Click on export icon to save the alignment report in different formats. Excel. PDF or words. Do's and don'ts. Do's. Always calibrate wheel bracket at every three or four month. Calibration done by Josem supplier. Ensure both self-centering frame gauges are aligned in straight position. Don'ts. Do not perform vehicle alignment process on an uneven surface. Do not scratch reflective target plate. Otherwise, it will not caught camera reading. Do not touch white and black knob given to the wheel bracket. Thank you for watching.